Hi guys, so I'm back on the desktop here and I'm gonna go through and we're gonna do a couple sample commands to finish off this video showing you how to set up Tasker and Auto Voice to do to basically control anything in your home. Now I, I have already filmed video 7.4 which will show you how to go through your Kodi library that you've already imported into premise and get that all set up so you'll be able to play any song any movie any series any episode be able to turn to whatever channel using your voice via your android phone now you can get this to work with your android wear device such as a moto 360 for that you can follow the beginning part of this video and try auto wear if you want to spend money or you can go and root your phone and get the exposed framework installed and use the unofficial Google Now API found on the XDA developers forum. So we'll go ahead and give us a couple sample commands. So we'll be watching this last command received and it's going to change when it receives a, receives a command, right? Pretty self-explanatory. And I'm actually going to tap the Google Now microphone and again, you need the Google Now Launcher installed on your phone for this to work. Probably should have shown you that on the first half. I already had it installed, but so I'm going to click the Google Now microphone. Turn on the master bedroom light. Master bedroom recessed light is on. Master bedroom left nightstand light is on. So you guys saw how fast that was. That was actually pretty darn impressive as far as speed it's way faster than the amazon echo unfortunately and so you can see it went through found the lights in the master bedroom and we talked about that in video 7.1 and 7.2 so i'm not going to go over all that again and then it formed a response the tasker javascript went ahead and read that back so we'll try a couple more Set the master bedroom lights to 88% brightness. Master bedroom brightness is 88%. So you can see here, looks like it's working pretty darn good. It set the lights to 88% brightness. And then we can verify that here, looking at the property values, or we can go into the master bedroom, look at one of the lights, see it's 88% brightness and the other light would have been the left nightstand because remember we had to add light the word light or lamp into the name see up here lamp is actually there's no space there so that's why this guy didn't get picked up so you could actually go put a space there could do one more for you this time i'm going to say the the trigger word which is OK Google, set the master bedroom lights to 43% brightness. Master bedroom brightness is 43%. OK, so you notice there it went ahead and changed the brightness for us. And now this guy's working. Let's see what else you guys want to see. You know what, so I've already done recorded video 7.4 so i've already set up the media library so all the cody objects can be played now with my voice so this is just a teaser now you have to watch the next video to learn how to set this up so i'm going to go over to the master bedroom media zone so you see it says over here on the right side nothing playing right now now playing is none right so nothing's playing so we'll go ahead and tell it to play a, a song here. Okay, Google. Play song on and on in the master bedroom. Song on and on is playing in the master bedroom. And you saw... Yeah, let me turn it up a little so you can hear it. And I'm actually going to... I'm going to go ahead and hit pause. So I hit pause using the the nvidia shield remote and again the neat thing two-way feedback it actually shows you it's paused in premise even though i issued the pause command completely outside of the home automation system so i think that stuff like that's pretty cool guess i'm a little bit nerdy like that so you can go here and 
and you see on and on is now playing and it's playing in the master bedroom so it pretty much went ahead found the song because we told it we were looking for a song right we had to say play song and gave it a name and it went and found it and played it just fine for us and the neat thing is you heard the response back on the phone so the phone's actually given us a nice form nicely formed natural language response that it went and it, it's now playing on and on in the master bedroom so that's kind of neat and you notice no actions were performed that's just because of the way i ended up adding the the ability to play media content after the fact and i didn't feel like going and creating actions for that because there's really no point i mean all you need to know is that <laughs> you have a response phrase here and then you're going to read that back to the user so that's really all you really need to do so i'm trying to think what are there neat things well like thermostats will work for you just anything you can think of if you read the pdf included in the download and again the downloads in this how to tutorial 7.1 so you make sure you go to the description there you know show all like maximize the youtube video description and you can download it there all right well i'm gonna go ahead and hit stop here and get these posted hope you guys have a good holiday weekend Keep using premise and have some fun.